Diego Rivera was considered to be the world's greatest artist coming to one of the world's most powerful cities to make a painting about what the city of Detroit uh, itself was about. And when Edsel Ford gave the commission to Diego Rivera, he basically got the commission for one wall. And then of course there was mission creep and Diego Rivera ends up being commissioned for the whole court. But Edsel Ford let Diego Rivera choose the subject matter. He basically provided a car and a driver to drive Diego Rivera around the city of Detroit, seeing what might interest him, and it was Diego's decision to capture this monumental complex, which was the Rouge plant for Ford Motor Company. Politically, uh, Rivera was a communist. He was kicked out of the Communist Party and let back in again. Um, he, it was like everything else about Rivera. He was outrageous and full of life. But when he agreed to paint these murals, he was excited because he regarded the Rouge River plant as America's pyramids. In fact, it upset his wife, Frida Kahlo, who was anti just about everything Yankee. She was upset because Rivera thought that th this industry was just so, uh, so extraordinary. It was the future. The underlying theme of the murals is dualities. Man, machine, man and nature, organic, inorganic, all of those things. But there's also, in a way, two sets of murals. There are the main panels that show the creation of an automobile. And in those panels, uh, Rivera has managed to fit in a way that engineers at the time said was perfectly coherent two or three miles of a uh, production line, everything happening in the right place. And, and then running underneath it are a group of panels we call the predella that is a day in the life of a worker. But the other panels that were added uh, later are allegorical. Rivera juxtaposed the, the good and the bad, the use of chemistry for vaccination and health, and then on the other hand, the use of chemistry to create gas for war. The murals that we have here, um, you can see uh, that's called The American Engineer. It's a combined portrait of Henry Ford and Thomas Edison, seated in front of this great big turbine shape that some scholars think is an ear. Uh, because Ford was famous for sort of spying on his employees. On the other side, you have Rivera himself combined with the heroic worker. Very prominently, he's wearing a glove that has a red star on it. Um, how could he get away with flaunting his communism in this way? Well, it just so happens that at that time, there was in Detroit a company called the Red Star Glove Company, and he slipped a few things uh, like that uh, throughout the murals. When these murals were first created, there were protests, but of course there is no such thing as bad publicity. That only brought larger crowds into the art museum. People could see it for themselves and make up their own minds about them. Rivera prided himself on getting the latest technology into these images. But there are a couple of things that are not realistic, and one of them is the identity of the men on the line there, because in those days, all of those people would have been white. There were people of color, but they didn't have jobs as good as that one. So the thought is that Rivera here was showing what he hoped would be a future when mankind was, in fact, working together.